I often get asked, um, how do you let go of things that have happened at work, you know, de-stress from a busy day? Well, one of the best ways is uh, to be in the present moment as much as you can when you when you finish work. Don't keep checking your emails when you get home, keep looking at your phone. Make a conscious decision and stick to it to, to leave the phone and the emails well alone. And I'm also asked, how do I bring myself into that moment? How do I let go of troubling thoughts you know, after a very busy day, it takes me a long time to de-stress and maybe I drink alcohol or I have to do sports to, to calm down. Well, it's a similar process to when we have to do public speaking. There's an exercise called RAIN that I like to, to, to use. And this is really good when it comes to letting experiences go recognizing their effects on us so that we can relax and be present it's very important in public speaking because having that interaction with our emotions and attaching our thoughts to them too much is very distracting which is why sometimes people get nervous and they stammer learning to accept how we feel allows us to be more present and more focused and that allows us to get up on stage and not be as worried and as anxious. Same principle applies to when you're relaxing at home at the end of a day. It's not being drawn into those thoughts and those feelings that make us, make us so distracted, push us into the fight or flight response. So what is RAIN then? So, RAIN is an acronym, it stands for a number of things, and we're going to practice that now. The first letter R is about recognising. Recognising what's happening in a calm and accepting manner. So let's do that now. Let's just take a few seconds. just to notice what's happening around us and recognize how we feel. And often when we're stressed or we're panicking, we're about to get up on stage and do a talk, or we've had a very busy day, we We can struggle to be in that moment because our mind is distracted. So just recognising how we feel is very important because it brings us out of our thoughts and into our bodies and into that present. And then there's acceptance. Accepting of how things are. I'm panicking, I can feel my heartbeat, it's scaring me. I don't want to get on stage, I'm going to be too nervous. And we can't change that in that moment, it is how we feel. But if we resist it, we're going to make ourselves more stressed and our heart's going to pump faster. I don't want that email to come in. We start to recognize I'm feeling my chest pumping and I'm feeling a little bit stressed. It's okay. There will be less resistance. And through less resistance, we relax. The I stands for investigating. So we want to investigate what's happening. 
And you know, as the heart's pumping, head's going. How, how does this feeling make me feel when I pick up my phone and look at my emails? Yeah, heart pumping, making me feel angry. It's making me feel aggressive. Maybe it's something in here, big pain, heaviness. It's making me feel heavy, making me feel sad. Through this investigation, we start to understand more about how we feel. And again, as we start to understand more about how we feel, we recognise what those things are doing to us. Through, through awareness and acceptance, we start to understand that we may not want to look at our emails because it's really having a negative effect on us. And again, it's all about acceptance. It's all about us starting to come to terms with what's going on and allowing those feelings to be present without judgment. And when we do that, it softens the experience and we tell ourselves it's okay. With our last letter in, It all comes down to non-judging. Non-judging of how we are, how we feel. And saying to ourselves, I recognise feelings of panic. I recognise a stronger heartbeat. We're not attaching emotions to that. We're not judging it, saying it's good or bad. Just noticing, acknowledging, and we're using words like I notice feelings of, I have, I'm having a sensation of. And through non judging, again, we bring a kindness to ourselves and to the experience. And through kindness and acceptance, we develop happiness and softness and we become more able to deal with the situation after work, during work, getting up, doing public speaking, giving a presentation, you know, for your boss. So I'd like you all to practice RAIN now. Give it a go. Notice how it makes you feel. And when you're at work or you're in a stressful situation, maybe you've got to speak to somebody in your personal life and it makes you feel stressed, makes you feel anxious, give it a go and see how powerful RAIN is. And it may not easily work the first time, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. And the better you get, the happier you'll become. And the more and more you practice, the more and more situations that you think you can't cope with, you will start to cope with. Enjoy the rain.